What the fuck are you doing on my records, you shitty asshole? Oh well, that was an experience. But I have listened to that album for like one million times. I'm tired of it. I'm kind of tired of it. Isn't there a way to get more FX Twin material? Can I pray to a god? Wait, I can do better. I'm still angry with you. Hello, Warp God. Can you give us more FX Twin music? I didn't like the previous records. Hello, Polygomatic. Yes, your wish will be granted. Here you go. Thanks, Warp God. Now I can brag about it on the internet. <laughs> It's been two months since I got this strange feeling like I forgot about something but I don't know what is it. What's this file over there? It's called Through the Kaleidoscope Episode 2 Script. Let's check it out. Oh my god, I forgot about the review! <laughs> Where should we start our journey? Well, why not starting with the first track, T69 Collapse? I really want to mention the video that came along with the song. It's so flash and crazy that a simple epileptic warning couldn't make for a broadcasting on Adult Swim. So we first saw it on YouTube. The amount of work and 3D programming that went into it are phenomenal, as it blends reality with the computer world, this crossover universe slowly beats itself just to crumble away halfway through and reform at the end in a completely different shape. That's also what happens to the song. Tiny bits of sentence were scattered across the video, especially at the beginning, and some fellow FX Twin fan that goes by the name of Mojo's World did a job for us and assembled them, revealing some information regarding the thought process behind this new project. Quoted from RDJ, I've uh, been getting well into simulation theory of late, didn't realize a lot of prominent science are now saying the chance we're living in a base reality is about 1 billion to 1, lovely. Just an AI simulation in simulations forever. Although I agree it's feasible, I'd rather think it's not. I kinda don't want to accept it. All these normal people who watch shit like Britain's Got Talent and Such Are Proof is not a simulation, cause why would you bother simulating that or it's proof we are living in a failed simulation? I can't see why it would be a problem accepting. I think that's what I hate most about it, is that it opens the gate for creationism and interpretation. Genius! Here's another example. So, who <laughs> was chomping on peanut butter toasty with Swedish jam, thinking the idea that code IEOS can imagine something pretty wild? Code rewriting itself and envisioning the future rewrite of itself. This obviously applies to any act of imagination. Imagination, making something, then observing it. Observing it then rewrites the code. Imagining a future version of itself by imagining what effects the rewrite of the code is going to have on you and then adjusting the imagination to give the desired effect. So that's what Richard was trying to do. Music that rewrites itself and changes as a consequence. T69 is a great example of this. The first part of the song is the usual epic stuff. Beautiful, fast and ever-changing music. Can we please take a second to appreciate the amusing warm bass and pads which had used for this part? Love them. Though this lasts till the second part kicks in abruptly. It's this cacophony of autonomous synths coupled with gliding down synths that literally make the track collapse on itself. At first I thought this part felt out of place but looking into RDJ's intention with this record I can see what he was going for. That's also one of the things he states at the beginning of the video. This part serves as the rewrites the code part of the aforementioned equation. This second phase leads to the third one, this time a more mellow and calm piece, reminiscent of the 8592 days. I won't lie, this is one of the best moments in FX Twins history, and 
that bass again, oh my god, I love it. Not to mention the amount of material that is given to us in a brief period of time. Sweet melodies building one on top of the other one in quick succession. When the track seems to be going for a final climax, it stops and you're left in awe. You're just wondering, so this is how it feels to be shot in a black hole. Seriously though, this third part isn't meant to be bombastic, it's subtle. It's mellow and it's jam-packed with the most refined melodies you ever hear in the whole EP. In fact, this is the only moment where FX gets all mellow and melodic because this also happens during the course of the half an hour or so of music. Here are a couple of honorable mentions. Tracks in this EP you might want to listen to alongside T69 Collapse. I recommend listening to M21, I'm not going to read the whole title of course, and Pathex. I love these tracks, especially the first one. This wraps up the new episode of Through the Kaleidoscope. Now that I think about it, the praying thing worked, so how about I add something else to the Wolf God? Maybe we can get something really big. But before that, as usual, I want to show you a couple of FX Twin records I bought a couple of years ago. Here's the Richard D. James album, of course. And the most recent one, the uh, Windowly Creepy. The first one was one of my first ever vinyl records alongside GeoGuddy, so I hold it very dearly in my heart, and it's one of the best uh, releases by Richard D. James. On the other hand, the Window Leaker EP uh, features one of the uh, most memorable, if not the most memorable, song by Apex Twin, which is the title track. The video they did for that song is amazing, especially the, <laughs> the thing with the, the two guys in the car, it's hilarious, and the dance he does with the umbrella is I love it. By the way, I think they released on FX Twin Store like a replica of the umbrella, which I think I'm going to buy it because it's amazing. Thanks for watching this episode of Through the Kaleidoscope. Next time we'll discuss something really big, so stay tuned. And now, let's go to pray some more. <laughs>